That looks about like the same bait. Bill is identical. 25 MB weighs in at one quarter of an ounce. Vegan Squad Mini Recon weighs in at one quarter of an ounce. Almost the same exact sound created by the internals of these baits. I made the decision to terminate my contract. What's up guys, Ben Melican here. So excited for another episode of Melican fishing um very controversial episode today actually a lot of you guys know about three or four months ago the guggen squad who are youtube fishing content creators uh released a series of hard baits they've had their soft baits out for a while now they went ahead and they released their hard baits and my inboxes got flooded on social media with comments from mfers you guys out there that said guggen squad is ripping off the six cents crankbaits now you guys know from the past experience that uh, I work directly with Mystery Tackle Box that I have for several years, who is a sister company of Ketchco, who I work with directly as well via Shop Carl's and their products. And of course I also work with Six Sense Fishing and have since before I even started this YouTube thing. So naturally that sparked a, a, a very keen interest of myself since I work with both of these companies and I got people blowing me up telling me they ripped off the baits. What I decided to do was go out and pick up eight of these new Guggen Squad crankbaits once they hit the market. And in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing them to Six Sense Fishing Lures, hard baits that is. To be honest, I'm pretty freaking shocked at what I noticed when I got these baits. This is gonna be a very interesting video for you guys and I think you're gonna learn a few things that potentially you didn't know about the, the creation of these baits right here. So here is a look at the eight baits that I went out and I got online. Um, with the Guggen Squad bait on the bottom and the Six Sense bait right above it that looks very, very similar, in my opinion, in each category. Now, quick little backstory before we start talking about these baits and comparing them right here. I'll tell you a little bit about the creation of some of these Guggen crankbaits that maybe you guys have not heard about. So back when I used to be friends with Andrew Flair and we used to fish together quite a bit, he made it aware to me that the Guggen Squad was interested in making their own hard baits. They had their soft baits, they want to make hard baits. Since I worked with Six Sense, I was like, dude, you have one guy that makes the best hard baits in the market that he has designed himself that you guys want to meet with and it works really well. He's in Houston, you're in Dallas, you guys can meet up and he can design some really badass baits for you guys. And the Guggen Squad thought that was a very good idea. So this was in the summer of 2017. So in October of 2017, Casey, the CEO of Six Sense Fishing, actually went up to Dallas to meet with the Guggen Squad regarding creating some bait designs for the Guggen Squad. Now, I'm not sure how that meeting went, um, but nothing really came of that. So they never really contacted Casey again regarding designing their own baits. So flash forward to 2019 at ICAST this summer in July, the Guggen Squad announced these hard bait releases and they put them out of the show, showed off some of the designs and they started putting them on social media. Now I saw some of these pictures and again, in my opinion, I thought these designs looked very, very similar. So it kind of sparked my interest as well. And that's when the messages from you guys started rolling into my Instagram, my Facebook and comments on my YouTube section. That brings us to this moment right now. I got these eight baits laying right here in front of me and we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna give you my opinions on how similar I think these baits all look. Plus we're gonna dive into the facts. We're gonna measure them on this super accurate scale. We're gonna measure the lengths, the widths with a caliper. And uh, we're just gonna take a look at them and I need you guys' opinions more than anything on this video in the comments section, letting us know what your thoughts are about how similar these baits are or if you think I'm crazy. All right, let's start off down here. We got the Six Sense 300 DD and the Guggen Baits Grande Recon. I think these baits look extremely similar. Obviously the paint schemes are different on these. I think you can guys can tell me which one you probably would say have better detail, but that's for your opinion and for my opinion only. Now you will notice with these baits, the, uh, the, the scale patterns and the gill plates, as well as the eyes, are all slightly different. That's gonna be the way it is with all these baits right here. Now let's take a look at the top profile and the bill of both these baits. As you can see, I mean, they are very, very, very close in width. I think the bill, I mean, I don't think, the bill is identical on these two baits. There is zero difference. As you can see, the scale pattern, um, the Sixth Sense bait has scales molded into it. The Guggen bait does not. Um, the, the gill plate's a little bit different on the Guggen bait and the Sixth Sense bait. And of course, the eye is different on both baits as well. Um, very similar hooks were put on these baits. Let's check the weight on them real quick. Six cents bait is one and an eighth. The Guggen Squad bait is also one and an eighth. Overall length of the bait, let's do it by inches. So the Guggen Squad Grande Recon, on the back of the bait to the front of the bill is 4.65, six cents, 300 DD, 4.65. 
the width of the bait. Let's measure it at, um, I don't know, the, the middle of the gill plate. The gill plates are different, so it might be a little different. 0.89 inches, six cents is 0.89 inches. Another very important part of a crankbait, of course, and these baits in general, is going to be the sound, the internals of these baits. I'm gonna do my best to hold on to the hooks right here so you guys can get an idea of the sound similarities or differences between all these baits, um, so you don't hear the hooks rattle or anything. But here's a 300DD, so a very faint rattling sound. Here is the Grande Recon. In my opinion, the internals on this bait are pretty much the exact same sound. All right, so that's the first bait. Extremely, extremely similar bait between the 300DD and the Guggen Squad Grande Recon, in my opinion. So a quick little history on these Six Sense baits, which is very relevant to the story, I feel. The 300DD was released in 2012. That's when Six Sense, Casey, the owner of Six Sense, designed this bait. He also released the Crush 50X that same year from the factory. Now, all these baits that are laid out right here were created with those samples at that same factory, except for this one right here, the Six Sense Mini Mag, which is at a new factory where Six Sense has all their baits produced right now. Now, the reason I feel like that's important is Six Sense actually moved away from the old factory where these original designs were from because Casey found out that his intellectual property of the bait designs and color schemes were being stolen in Asia and used in countries like Italy. Next bait up is the Six Sense 250MD, one of the originals from the original factory, and the Guggen Squad. This is called the Recon, medium diving bait. This is one, in my opinion, that jumped off the page as a very similar bait because some of these bill designs you can find other places, like the, the Crush 50X, of course, the, the 1.5 size square bill design. A square bill design is not a ton different between baits. There is definitely very specific similarities and differences, but this bill design on this bait is, in my opinion, it almost, if not identical. Those are the exact same bill. Take a look at the profile of both these baits next to each other. Um, once again, we have scales built into the six cents bait and uh, more details in the gills. This one has a different eye, different gills, and uh, no scales built into the bait, but let's let's take a listen to the internals. Six cents bait, same faint knocking rattling sound as a 300DD, and the Guggen Squad Recon. Almost the same exact sound created by the internals of these baits. Let's weigh them really quick. Six cents bait, 250MD, he weighs five eighths of an ounce. Guggen Squad Recon weighs five eighths of an ounce. Let's measure them from the front of the bill to the tip of the back. I'm not measuring to the back of the hanger. I, I don't know why, but it just as a control, we'll do the same on both baits. Um, so the length of the six cents, 250MD, 4.06 inches. The Guggen Squad will re-zero that out. 4.06 inches. All right, the width of the Recon is, let's get it right in the middle part. I'd say that's probably the thickest part right there. It's gonna be a tough one, it tapers a lot. 0.83 inches, six cents, we'll get back out to zero. Middle of the thickest part. 0.83 inches. All right, that's those two baits. Next we move on to the six cents mini mag and the grande banger from Guggen Squad. Here's these two baits right here. Pretty similar size baits, profiles about the same, bill angles very, very similar. Um, I would say that the, the gills are different, of course. Um, the eye design is different and they neither of them, no, Six Sense does have a little bit of scales built into this bait. Let's, uh, let's give these two baits right here away. See if they kind of follow along the same pattern. Six cents, There's mini one. mag crankbait, weighs one ounce. Guggen baits, grande banger, weighs three quarters of an ounce. There's our first difference right there. Like I said, these are uh, different weighted baits from Six Sense and Guggen Squad. Let's take a look at their profiles before we do some measuring and look at the bill design. So the profile, in my opinion, is basically identical. The bill design is actually a hair different. The Guggen Squad bill 
has a little bit sharper edge and the Sixth Sense Mini Mag is a hair more rounded off. All right, so unlike these first two baits, the weights on these two baits right here is different and the bill shape is different as well. But I recognize something on this bait right here, this Guggen Grande banger that just blew my mind. And honestly, I was shocked by it. So out of all the baits in this entire lineup from Sixth Sense Fishing, the Mini Mag crankbait is the only one that came out in the Cloud 9 series. So the reason this is relevant is the Cloud 9 series from Sixth Sense Fishing came out in 2016. The rest of these baits from Sixth Sense Fishing came out in 2012 or 2013. Now why is that important? So this entire line of baits from Sixth Sense Fishing called the Cloud 9 series has one very distinct specific feature that no other crankbait on the entire market has. If you look very, very closely at the tail of this bait, Casey designed a very unique taper. It's almost like a little indentation. It's a taper to the tail. And of course, all crankbait brands have a taper, but this one's a very, very specific looking shape. Now, let me show you guys a couple other companies' baits to show you what I'm talking about. Now, first off, let's look at the Six Sense crankbaits that are from previous to the Cloud9 series. They all have the basic, you know, gentle taper that goes into the rounded off tail section. Let's take a look at some other companies. Here's a Strike King right here, as you notice. Tapers down, rounded off section. Here's a Bandit right here. Tapers down, rounded off section. H2O Express, same thing. We got a Spro crankbait, same thing. And a Bomber crankbait, same thing. They all have a very, very specific taper. So now let's look at the Sixth Sense crankbait. And you guys can see there is a very specific, unique feature to this bait. Obviously, this is a cosmetic feature, just something different that Casey, the CEO of Six Sense Fishing, decided to do to make this bait series a little bit more unique. Now let's take a look once again at the Grande Banger from Guggen Baits. It's incredible. It has that exact same taper. So out of all these eight baits that look very, very similar between the Guggen Baits and the Six Sense Baits, the only bait from Six Sense that was released in the Cloud9 series that was more of a recent bait the only Guggen bait out of all of them with that taper is very, very close and mimics that exact same taper on the back. Also, one more thing to note with the Guggen Banger crankbait, the Grande Banger, even though it is very similar in profile to the Six Sense Mini Mag, let's take a look at the profile in the bill angle of the Six Sense Magnum crankbait and then the Guggen Grande Banger. Look at the bill angle similarities. Same exact bill angle same exact line tie placement and very, very similar profile, if not exactly the same, other than the gills and the scales and the eye, of course. So this bait right here is, in my opinion, nearly identical to the Six Sense Cloud9 Magnum square bill, just a smaller version of it and very close to the Six Sense Mini Mag in size now. All right, next bait up. This is another one, just like the 250 MD, um, that jumped off the page at me when it was released and it was a very similar looking bait. So we have the Six Sense 25 MD, it's a little tiny crankbait, and the Guggen Squad Mini Recon. So let's take a look at the bill design. Those bills are basically, they're, they're identical in my opinion. Again, same differences between the gill plate, the eye, and scales on the Sixth Sense, no scales on the, uh, the, the Guggen Squad Mini Recon. Let's weigh them real quick. 25 MD weighs in at one quarter of an ounce. The Guggen Squad Mini Recon weighs in at one quarter of an ounce. Let's measure them. I think you guys know how this is going to measure. The Guggen Squads is 2.75 inches exactly. The Sixth Sense is, we'll get it back out, 2.75 inches exactly. Internals, this is the Sixth Sense. This is the Guggen Squad. Very, very, very similar internal noise, in my opinion. Moving on, we have the Six Sense Flat 75. You guys have seen me catch a ton of fish on this guy. It's one of my favorites. And the Guggen Squad Flat Banger. There's the two profiles side by side. Now, the scale design isn't something that's that's really unique to either company. Companies have been putting these, these looser scales on their baits forever. Looking at the profile of these baits, there's no other bait on the market that's similar to this profile in my opinion. Again, a little bit of background on me. I've been fishing my entire life. I've been ate up with it. I've read every freaking article that's ever been created, seen every bait that's ever been put out there. I feel like mentally I'm in a good place with figuring out what baits look like what baits. In my opinion, this design is very, very similar. Bill is, in my opinion, identical. It's exactly 
the same width, length, shape, profile design of the body. As you can see, the Guggen Squad one, again, might flare out a little bit more because the gill design's different, but exact same profile in my opinion. Let's weigh them real quick, see if the weights are similar. Six cents flat 75, weighs in at five eighths of an ounce. Guggen Squad flat banger, you guys guessed it, five eighths of an ounce. Let's listen to them. Favorite flat set crankbait is this six cents flat 75 because of its faint knocking rattle. Guggen Squad flat banger. So this one does have the one knocker rattle. Um, it's clearly made of a different material um, inside the Guggen Squad flat banger, but still the same one knocker type rattle. Measure the lengths on these guys quick. We'll go from the tip of the bait on these. It is 2.55 inches on the Guggen Squad, 2.58 on the six cents. Three hundredths difference. Um, width is gonna be a little bit different on these guys because of the more flared gills probably, but 0.67 on the Guggen Squad, no, 0.67 on the six cents as well. Next bait, six cents crush 50X. Guggen Squad Banger. You guys can take a look at the profile. Um, it's your typical 1.5 size square bill. A lot of companies on the market make a similar design. Let's listen to the internals. Six cents, Crush 50, again, the same faint rattle. Guggen Squad. Very, very, very similar sound. Looks like the bill design is very close to the same, but again, the Guggen Squads is a little bit more sharp edged. And this is actually one I've used, but I think the edges might be rounded down. But the Sixth Sense has always kind of had this more narrow round bill. Gives it a really tight wobbling action. Kind of rolls different than a lot of baits in the market. Throw them on the scale right quick. Sixth Sense Crush 50X weighs in at 3 8 of an ounce. Guggen Squad Banger weighs in at 3 8 of an ounce. All right, on to the last two baits. I know you guys are probably sick of me by now. You guys are gonna have to let me know your opinions in the, in the comments below of what your thoughts are about the similarities between every single bait. Two more, like I said, um, we got the Six Cents Crush 25X, so just the little crankbait, and the Guggen Squad Mini Banger. Same bill angle, same profile, same differences. This one, it's not as pronounced, the sharper edge of the bill of the Guggen Squad. They are very, very, very similar in my opinion. Let's weigh them quick. Weight of the Six Cents 25X, one quarter of an ounce. The Guggen Squad Mini Banger. I don't gotta look, it's one quarter of an ounce. Length of the Guggen Squad banger, mini banger that is, 1.93 inches. Length of the six cents, 25. We'll go out, come down, 1.94 inches. Width of the fattest part, 0 0.69, 0 0.69. The internals of these baits I think is one, um, after looking at how similar the externals are that we need to take a listen to. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. That's the six cents. Here's the Guggen Squad. In my opinion, that's a very, 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 very similar noise from the internals, a faint rattling sound. And we have one more bait. We have the six cents snatch in the Guggen Squad clutch. Here's these two baits side by side. Take a look at the profiles of them, nose to nose. Guggen Squad clutch weighs in at one, five eighths of an ounce. Six cents snatch weighs in at Five eighths of an ounce. Noises, the clutch. So you got BBs in there. Um, plus it sounds like maybe a knocker. Here's the snatch. I don't know if you guys can pick up the one knocker in there as well, but again, BBs plus one knocker. Clutch. So this one might have a hair higher pitched noise, the, uh, the Guggen Squad clutch. Now anyone that fishes lipless crankbaits a lot knows that the internals of this bait are extremely important because those cause two things. They make the sound of the bait, which is a very, very important aspect of these tight shimming rattling baits. Um, it also affects the sink rate of this bait. And I know this one specifically, when Casey designed this back in 2012, 2013, he got the, the weighting and the BBs and everything perfectly how he wanted them for the weight and the sound of this bait. Now, since these two baits are very, very similar, the Guggen Clutch uh, and the Six Cent Snatch and Sound, I wanna cut these open and take a look at the internals. So I'm gonna take the split rings off. Uh, I got the split rings off this guy, the hooks off this guy, and I'm gonna cut, I don't wanna cut this guy because that's just too pretty to chop open. I'm gonna cut a different Six Cents, same bait again, Six Cent Snatch. We're gonna chop them in half and see what the internals look like. All right. 
right, we got it. Here's the snatch. So we got two weights here. This is the loose knocker rattle weight. It's loose, as you can see. And then we got the BBs in the back portion. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine BBs. Took some work to get through those guys, but let's look at the, uh, let's cut the clutch open and look at it. All right, so look inside this Guggen bait right here. So we got, once again, we got two main cavities. This one's empty, loose weight there, loose weight there, and we got BBs in this back cavity. Let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's put that next to the six cents. As you can see, the baits are a different color plastic. That's more of a bone color, opaque type color with the Guggen. But look at the weights on the inside. Weight position is exactly the same. This top empty cavity is the exact same shape. This back cavity where the BBs are, exact same shape with nine BBs. Now just as a control, here's another bait that's a little bit similar, the Excalibur XR50, similar profile, a little bit different sound. Let's take a look at the internals of this guy. All right, so again, similar profile bait this Excalibur one knocker, as you can see. Let's put it next to these two. Six cent snatch, Guggen Bates clutch. There's the booyah, so different shape front piece, different shape back piece. We got a cavity up here. BBs are in two separate chambers. This main open one, there's another back chamber. Two BBs here, two, four, six, eight BBs in the middle. So as you can see, two of these look extremely close, identical, to be honest, other than the color of the plastic used. And then there's this guy over here, which has a similar profile, totally different internals. All right, so you guys have seen the outside profiles of the baits. You've seen the lengths, the widths, the weights. You've seen the tapered tails on the baits. And you've even seen the internals on this lipless bait here. I could do the rest of the internals too. That's going to take a while more video, but I think you guys get a pretty good picture. You know, when these baits popped up on the market this uh, late summer into this fall, I thought they looked extremely similar, and now that I have them in my hands, I am just like blown away by how many similarities and even precise similarities that there are in this lineup. I've always told you guys from the very start that I'm always going to be true to myself and my brand and my channel. I'm not going to bullshit you guys or give you anything fake. Um, and honestly, now that I have these, I am like, I'm not happy about it. You guys know that I've worked with Ketchco and Mystery Tackle Box for a very long time. And you guys know that I've worked with Six Cents um, for a very long time as well. And now that these baits came out, obviously it puts me in a very, very serious bind. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't have a personal vendetta against anyone specific in the Guggen Squad or the Guggen Squad in general. In fact, I think a lot of the stuff they did, they were like the pioneers of the YouTube fishing game. And I think they've opened a lot of the doors that allows me to do this and make fishing YouTube videos for a living, which is amazing. Now I've personally seen everything that Casey, the CEO of Sixth Sense Fishing has done from the very, very start of his company, when he started off super, super small, this is a family owned business with the idea of bringing a premium quality, I mean, custom type paint scheme bait to the mass market. And to grow his company has taken so much hard work. Honestly, I think it's about impossible to grow from the ground up to the size where he's at now for any business. And yet he managed to do that. And for a company like Ketchco to come and make these baits that look like this, is very, very disheartening. And I'd love to hear your opinions um, on, on these baits as well down in the comments section. Now, like I said, I, uh, I don't have a personal vendetta against anyone and I hope this video doesn't have a super negative connotation. I'm simply looking at some baits that got brought onto the market um, with two companies that I've worked with for a very, very long time. I made the decision to terminate my contract with Ketchco and any of its entities, including Mystery Tackle Box moving forward. Now this isn't obviously gonna change anything with my channel. Um, everything's gonna move forward faster and more efficiently than ever. I'm still gonna make four to six, seven videos every single week for you guys. And uh, hopefully nothing that's similar to this right here in the future. But thank you so much for watching this one, MFers. Again, please comment down below. I wanna see what you guys' opinions are on this video and these baits. And I'll catch you guys very soon. I'm out of here.